And first on the line, I hope she's on the line, is a delightful young lady from uh, California, San Francisco, who was a bartender. Now, this lady was a bartender and just just hated the thought the food she was giving these people and their drinks, the sweeteners, were killing the, her, 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 her patrons. Wasn't it, Rohini? Yes, it was. <laughs> so what did you decide to do? I decided to come out with a product that was actually going to help people so that hurt them. So I invented... Um, these syrups are actually good for you to mix with. Wow. So these are, and also they're frat, fat-free syrups that are organic yeah. to make yeah. terrific cocktails. Let me show your Kickstarter video for people, okay? Hold okay. on. Uh, Eric's been watching or drinking. He thought it was live drink, so he was drinking some of that stuff on the video. So he's got to rewind the thing. I think. <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks so good. It looks edible and drinkable and... Uh, here, here you are. I'm Rohini Marathi, and I'm here to shake things up. I've always believed you can have the best of both worlds. You can have something sweet and healthy. So I sought out a solution and unlocked a secret for my own garden. I invented a syrup made with all natural organic ingredients. It's zero calories and absolutely delicious. Get ready to start being good to yourself. There's nothing on the market like my syrups. Other sweeteners out there are so unhealthy. They're loaded with empty calories and processed ingredients I can't even pronounce. My syrups are all natural, made with 100% organic ingredients. And they're good for you. You can put these syrups in your cocktail and your coffee. You can bake with these syrups or use them to sweeten just about anything. With your help. I can get my product bottled and onto shelves at coffee shops, grocery stores, and bars near you. So you too can start enjoying the health benefits and the sweetness of our syrups. To your health, or as I would say, the set on my tea. Wow, Rohini, that's wonderful. Nice to see it again, actually. That's still it's compelling stuff that you did, yeah. But now you're also a mom, right? What was that? I'm sorry. You're a mom also? Exactly. Yeah, she had sugar problems most of her life. So, you know, these syrups are good for people who are diabetic or have. I see. I guess an addiction to sugar. <laughs> well, that's probably all of America. Yeah. yeah me too. <laughs> if you go to a theme park lately. <laughs> I know. I know exactly. It's all so, just sugar so you just everywhere. had this idea. Did you need a lot of money to start, or how did you start with this, or just go in your backyard and start well, growing this stuff? Exactly. I didn't really um, need any money to start. I just started trying to figure out the ingredients and the uh -huh. actual measurements on my own. It took me about a year and a half of testing out different concoctions. Um, then after that, you know, I was a bartender, so I wasn't the richest person in the world. I decided to Oh, go you didn't to know how to steal? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I decided to go to Kickstarter and crowdfund, um, kind of tell all my friends about it, all their friends, every single person I came in contact with I was telling me about these syrups. 
Wonderful. So, in other words, so you really research the heck out of this thing. So you take a year or so of your life, or part time, full time, whatever. You're raising the kids, so I know it's not really full time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and and you do. I mean, and that's the key with anything is how much work, personal, you know, uh, effort you're going to put into it. But finances exactly. weren't the issue. And then when you had your idea, you go to Kickstarter, and look, at you you <laughs> raised ten grand to get this stuff on the market, huh? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, that that is just terrific, and and that's why. I mean, what do you think that's stopping other people from taking their ideas and you know putting them on the market like you do? Honestly, I think a lot of times it's because they don't know that these tools are out there uh -huh. um, to help us. I mean, even fundraisers or any kind of group fundraising kind of thing would help people raise enough funds to start their own business. Yeah. It's just people don't believe that they can, so yeah. they don't. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I I believe it, and it takes effort, of course, but it doesn't take a lot of brains and a lot of, you know, you don't need to be a, you know, a, a rocket scientist <laughs> or whatever to figure it out. If you and I could figure this stuff out, yeah. <laughs> That's why I used to, exactly, when I used to, exactly. I used to work for somebody. I, I, after eight months, I thought the guy was an idiot, you know? So I said, I could be an idiot, too, and have people work for me, you know? <laughs> what the heck? I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> and this is your website, right, Rahini? I don't know if you see the screen, but at elevatedspirits.com, right? So if yes, they, that's my website. Right. So if they miss the Kickstarter thing, they could go to elevatedspirits.com and start drinking healthy, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> to say drinking healthy. Right, no. <laughs> it's an oxymoron. Right? It is, it's definitely. But you're going to drink and it's pleasurable, happen. so don't put extra crap in your body, right? Exactly. That's yeah. pretty much the point. Yeah. Put out the crap whenever you can. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Rahini. Good luck for you. I'll talk to you soon. Let me know if I can help, okay? Okay. Thank you, Matthew. Okay. Good talking to you. Take care. <laughs> okay, bye.